Good evening. Boston Pizza locations throughout Saskatchewan are working to send kids with disabilities to camp this summer. Now, today marks the second annual Camp Easter Seal Day. This is the first year that the Lloyd Minster location has taken part. And as Bart Pettyessick reports, the restaurant hopes to raise thousands of dollars for the initiative. Kyle Harris is on dessert duty at the Lloyd Minster Boston Pizza. Not much of a serving background himself, he says it's been a bit of an adventure. It's been interesting. I definitely don't uh, see a future uh, profession in it. As part of the Lloyd Minster Bobcats front office, Harris joined other celebrity servers for their lunch shift as they raised money for the cause. 10% from all sales, plus every $2 donation at this location goes into Camp Easter Seal, giving kids in Saskatchewan with disabilities a chance to go to camp. An organization that's special to the company, according to Sean Heatley, as it came to their attention after a Saskatchewan franchisee with a disabled son herself found out about the camp. It's personal for her. And that because it's personal for her, it makes it personal for all of us. The camp on the shores of Lake Manitou hosts more than 700 kids throughout the summer. The fully wheelchair accessible camp's goal is to give campers a summer they'll never forget. For many individuals, this is the first time that they may be away from their parents. Uh, it's a chance to be with other kids with similar needs and abilities and they get to experience a variety of things that they may not be able to experience otherwise. And even though this is the first year the Lloyd Minster location has been involved, Heatley says he hopes to raise more than $5,000 for the cause, sending at least a few kids to camp. Every little bit counts and, and uh, no matter how big or how little it is, you're helping out to get a uh, child with disabilities. Bart Pityasek, NewCap News. Now, Boston Pizza will be taking donations and raising money for Camp Easter Seals until closing time at midnight. Now, a few new camp personalities will also be there as celebrity servers after 7 p.m. Well, parents in the Lakeland area will soon have a brand new family and community support services building. The facility is nearing completion and officials, along with parents, are looking forward to the bigger space. Fraser Snowden took a tour of the new center earlier today and has this report. Right now we're looking at a lot of the finishing work. You can see the floors are in pretty much throughout. This play space in the new building is the same size of their entire FCSS building they use currently. The new center, which will include parent link services, is 15,000 square feet. We always uh, envisioned a space that would be open to the whole community and, and we hope that this is what we create. And as, as we walk around the building, we're really able to, to see how it can be used by a variety of groups. Two separate age grouped playgrounds inside and outside will allow kids to have a larger play space. Along with lava tiles for them to jump from, the play center will have an indoor beach theme with even visuals of rippling water. McWillis says they really needed to upgrade their space. The facility itself has seen people uh, ranging from, you know, starting about 7,000 people in 2009 to 10,000 people um, today. So uh, we do see a lot of people in the building and, and that's why the need for the extra space. And so I think it's been a long process in the sense of really building up uh, who comes to the Parent Link Centre. The current FCSS building is only 3,000 square feet in size. Justine Chance has been bringing her four kids here for a number of years, and she's looking forward to the larger space. It's going to be nice to go to because it gets really busy in here and there's not enough room for all the parents that like to bring their kids. And it'll be very exciting to see the new stuff and how we all get along in there. The new $4.5 million facility will be opening in September. In Cold Lake, Fraser Snowden, New Cap News. Well, school's out for Border City students today, but e before ES Laird students say goodbye for the summer, now they were on the receiving end of some brand new outdoors equipment. Yes, several local businesses were thanked this afternoon for supplying the school's outdoor education program with equipment and a trailer. Each canoe sponsor was, uh, was a, a $2,000 sponsorship and that uh, provided uh, three life jackets and uh, three paddles and a canoe. Former ES Laird student Destiny Holowacek, a volunteer in the program, says the donations will encourage kids to get outside more. There's a lot of kids that, you know, uh, need this extracurricular activity because they can't a, afford to do it or they don't know how to get part of programs and technology too. Technology's you know, not getting them outside. I think the canoes are a big up in the program because before it was 
it was just a blank spot of space. But now we have something to do that adds on to the camping trip and just the whole program. Now the outdoor ed elective covers a wide variety of activities, including buffalo hunts, archery, skinning and trapping.